Hi developers, I'm Hossam Dillahi, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use DevOps in Visual Studio Team Services VSTS with Xamarin projects. The goal of this demo is to sign the generated Android APK package. So we'll build a CI pipeline that will start by getting the source code of the application from GitHub, then we'll restore the NuGet packages, build the Android project to generate the APK, then we'll sign that APK using a key store file that we'll create in Visual Studio. Then we'll publish that generated signed APK into a persistent folder, which is the drop. So let's start and gener to generate the signed APK using DevOps and VSTS. Here on Visual Studio, I have a sample Xamarin application. It could be either a Xamarin Forms or a Xamarin.Android application. So this app here have its code hosted on GitHub. So if you take a look right here on this repo on GitHub, you will find the uh, source code right here. And in order to, gener to uh, align or to sign our APK in Visual Studio, what we do is that we go to our Android project, right click, then we choose here uh, archive. And before doing that, we should make sure this is set to be a release mode, not in a, a debug. So make sure it is released, then go back to Android project, then we choose archive. And archive here will try to build the Android application in a release mode. Then we go here to distribute and with distribute you do have two options either to distribute for uh, as ad hoc or for Google Play if you want to publish to Google Play Store. Here we will choose, we'll choose just ad hoc. So we choose ad hoc and then I get in this list all the key store files that I already generated before starting the demo. And here to generate a new key store file, we just go to this plus and then you fill this form here to uh, create an alias. So let's say this is going to be uh, devops.bmi body mass uh, index. Then we choose a password. So let's say right here. Then you put a full name for your app. Once that's done, now we go hit create. And this will create a new key store file for us, call it here devops.bmi. Then you might want to click save as in order to um, generate a new APK say, sign it with this key store. Or you just hit uh, cancel and that only will go and create your key store. Now where to find those uh, key stores? Actually, if we uh, go back to where we do have distribute, we can double click that key store and here it will uh, go to the uh, key store file where we do have uh, our key stores. So I'll go and copy this file that contains my uh, key store and then I'll go and paste it in Visual Studio. I already pasted a key store file right here. I call it devops.perfectbody. So I don't need to paste a new one. So and I'll use this uh, one from VSTS. Now let's go to VSTS and create our CI um, pipeline. From VSTS, I have already created an account. And from here, I need to create a new project by giving it a name. But here I'll start with an existing project. And from here, I go to build and release. And you can see here all the build that I have created previously for my previous uh, demos. And here I go and create a new demo. And I'll choose the template for building Xamarin.Android project, which is this one, Xamarin.Android. Click apply. Then here we'll need to do some cleanup because this template contains some uh, tasks that we don't need for this demo. Here we only need to build and sign the APK. So we don't need the tasks for um, restoring Xamarin components. And we don't need to run our unit test uh, project. So I remove that. Also we don't need to test uh, 
or to run UI tests on Xamarin Test Cloud and we'll just here um, have to get the source code from GitHub restore NuGet packages, build Android project, then sign the APK and put that APK in a drop folder. So let's start by here the step zero as I call it, the process and here we'll choose the uh, agent that will uh, in which that will host my build. So let's choose here VS 2017 then let's go to the first step which is here getting the source code from my github because here the source code of my app is under this uh, repo in github so i'll connect to my github repo and here if you are running this for the first time then you will have a blue button call it authorized asking you to authorize your pstS to connect to uh, github so you click that button you enter your credentials then pstS could talk to get your github repo from your GitHub repo, you might have many projects, so you choose the one you want to work with here. I'll choose Perfect Body, then I choose the right branch here. I only have one master branch. The second step is restoring the NuGet packages, and here with Xamarin uh, projects, we need to specify the version 4.0.0 right here. Then to build the uh, the Android project right here you see it's specifying only the Android projects that means it will ignore the iOS and UWP projects and that's fine for us that will generate an APK the APK then will be signed by the uh, fourth task here signing and aligning so to sign the APK we'll choose here sign the APK and it is here asking for those three parameters key store file, key store password, and the aliens. Remember, we have um, configured those parameters in our uh, key store. So the first thing here is to specify the path for the key store. And here, because I have added that key store to my Android project, and by the way, here, this is not a good solution and a security point of view because your key store will be available to everyone and to all your team members yeah. but here I'm doing it for uh, demo purposes so now my key store file is inside the Android project right here I have already um, committed this code to github so then I can point to that file from here by going to these points and then I can access my github repo go to my Android project and from within the Android project I can find the uh, the folder key stores I can dig into and then I can find my key store file click OK and then I have the path for my key store then we do have some three parameters here which are the key store password alias and the key passwords so i'll go and paste the values for those one so remember that i have i created a key store password but here pasting the value of my password this way is not secure because again it will be visible to all my team members so I need to secure it for that what I'll do I will create a variable a secure variable in VSTS by going here to variables and then you see that here do have some uh, created variables I'll go and create a new one and we'll call it here with the same name as we have here it's gonna be the key store password so we create a new variable we call it key store password then we paste the value for that key store password here we do have this icon right here to change it to be secret and then it is no longer visible we'll do the same for also the key uh, for the alias and for the key password so let's add a new variable for the alias then we paste the value here I call it, it devops dot then let's create third one for our uh, key password 
once i have created those values now i can use those by copying the name of my uh, key then reuse it right from here so now in, instead of using the value i use the name of my key so this syntax is pretty simple you use the dollar sign then the parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we put the name of our key which is here key store password we'll do the same for passwords we call it it key key store alias then for key password now we are ready to save and queue this build the build was run successfully and now if i go to the build number right here and go to artifacts here we do have the drop folder that contains all the output from this uh, build so i go to explore open that drop and right here you can find our signed apk along with the unsigned one you can go and download this apk by clicking download from here so i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you